closest to the butt eye. All right, ready? Go. Go. Uh, I think we have a clear well, winner. Three out of three? No, I'm gonna take the vlog from here. As a matter of fact, hold on, I got something for you. I totally thought I had it. That's what it, I guess that's what you get when you try peacocking. Stop licking yourself. Enjoy What's up, everybody? Welcome to the vlog. Another AGX. I've got this. Go clean up the racetrack. Thank you guys for joining us again. Looking forward to telling you guys all about all the good stuff we have going on. Thank you for tuning in. Appreciate the support, which, reminder, please support us. We appreciate it. Buy a shirt, hat, all goes to our shenanigans and bringing you guys super cool stuff. On that note, I'm leaving with the RWB in a little bit. That has to go over to our boy Stevie. So we're gonna drop that off. Time for me to go load that thing up. I'll be back. All right, you guys, let's talk about the Lamborghini 6.2 liter engine. Uh, actually, specifically, we're gonna talk about the transmission side of this motor because I don't think everybody gets to see the majesty that is the E-gear system. Let's proceed over to this side here. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the Murcielago six-speed E-gear transmission. The very first thing you guys notice is a bunch of hoses that run uh, from this valve body here, valve body with all the pretty solenoids, runs down to this is the E-gear actuator. Uh, this actually takes the place of your right hand as far as shifting the transmission inside of the car. This is the guy that selects all your gears and does all the gear changing on it. What we're also gonna have here are, these are the sensors that report on how well everything is going and tells us whenever you guys uh, with Mercy's actually know about the flashing lights on the transmission or things like that. These are the, the sensors that actually manage the gear changes and make sure that they've successfully accomplished those. Next thing we have here guys is the accumulator. Uh, what his job is to do is to store pressure. So as the e-gear system pressurizes itself, when you bang the shifts off, uh, so we're not actually running the pump, which is over here, we'll take a look at it. Uh, this is what stores the pressure, so you can bang shift this thing uh, before actually triggering the pump to come on. Which takes us over here to the next piece, which is the actual e-gear pump. This is what generates the pressure to operate the system here. You guys should know that all of these things, accumulator, the actuator, uh, all of that pretty much requires that we remove the whole engine and transmission before we can do any servicing. We are able to kind of steal this guy in and out but uh, but that's about it for the rest of the transmission this engine in particular is going to get a new clutch assembly so that's why the whole assembly is out uh, we like to go ahead and clean everything up so it's not filthy and gross which the guys already knocked that out for us so what we're going to do is we're going to pull the transmission off we're going to replace the clutch assembly uh, we're going to replace the bearing on it uh, new flywheel everything gets replaced all of it original lamborghini stuff uh, we don't particularly like the aftermarket ones, but uh, uh, this one's actually going to get an original Lamborghini one. The other reason that we're going to be in here is we're actually going to lift the top of the intake manifold off the engine. Uh, we're going to pull then the valve covers off and the engine's going to get a valve adjustment. What happens with the Lamborghini engine, it's a solid lifter cam. Uh, and over time, what happens is all of the valves begin to tighten up on this thing. Uh, and as they tighten up, we do run the risk of uh, burning valves and things like that. Uh, so what happens is we take it apart. We're actually going to restore the gap between the camshafts and the actual lifters down below it. Uh, so that's going to be something for you guys to stick, uh, stick around to and we'll get to see that. Uh, but that's actually what it's in for. A lot of times with the Lamborghinis also, what we'll do is we go through and just replace. If it's a rubber hose or any type of coolant hose, uh, those usually get replaced, uh, especially if we go to the one on the back of the car. My friends with Murcielagos will tell you that uh, this is the one that likes to go. Uh, this hose right here is the return line that comes out to the coolant reservoir that sits out here. But you can see the proximity from the header to this hose. People do everything they can to actually insulate this. Uh, and then there's other guys out there that have seen these things blow up and split and break. You can actually, if you look at this one right here, you can see it cracks because, uh, because it's so dried out and crusty. So it'll be getting a new one of these. The other thing on this particular engine, guys, this catalytic converter here uh, has actually blown out. And I think what we're gonna try to do is, uh, let's see if we can actually show you guys at home uh, what a blown out catalytic converter looks like. So uh, I'm gonna grab some tools, give me just a second, and then uh, let's see if we can actually get the camera to see down inside of there. All right, you guys, we're going in. We're gonna use a uh, camera boroscope and send this down inside of there. Uh, so. Let's send the little catalytic converter snake. There we go. All right, you guys, that's obviously the end of your oxygen sensor. Uh, for those of you guys that are out uh, killing oxygen sensors, that's where your O2 sensor lives. 
but if we move past it we can actually see the completely blown out catalytic converters in there. If you're wondering what this little stick is right here, uh, we can stop looking at this thing and we'll come look over here. Uh, this is actually the temperature probe for the catalytic converter. So this thing is just like uh, grandma's turkey. It's just a big metal probe shoved down inside the catalytic converter, uh, just like you'd send one down uh, your Thanksgiving turkey. And uh, it measures the temperature of the catalytic converter. This one has actually failed, as you guys can see, it's uh, blown apart in the middle. Uh, so along with uh, all the stuff we talked about, transmission clutch, valve adjustment on it, uh, it's actually going to get a replacement on the right side catalytic converter. Other than that, uh, it's a pretty low mileage engine, so no real big surprises so far with anything that we see. So you guys stick around for that. That's going to be pretty cool to actually uh, to rip inside of this thing and uh, uh, show you guys how all the, the inner workings of it, or at least as far as the valve train goes, we're going to get into doing that for you guys. Boys Place SS Motorsports over in Simi Valley. We dropped the car off, we're gonna go over it a little bit. We're gonna see about the bodywork, what it needs, what we need to do, and get their opinion on it as well. So let's go on. Simi! What up? What is up? What's going on? Oh, how you doing? What do you guys think? Yeah. I need some work. Need some work? A little bit? Yeah, a, little a, little bit. Of, uh, a little rub and tug action going yeah, on? Not too bad, not too bad. My body man was looking over it. Uh, we're gonna need the bracket for the A-pillar. We we'll have to cut that off, pull the A pillar, pull the apron. This one I think we can actually repair. This thing got hit pretty good, huh? Well, that's what happens when you got a big ass wheel that turns around and wants to get stuffed into a fender. Yeah. So what do you think on this door? So the door definitely got pushed back some. Yeah. Hold on, man, my body got come over. This all be salvageable? Right. Yes. Definitely. Okay. We can repair it. I'll need the new kit. We'll be able to work the door, pull the door back up. As soon as you get me, everything will be straight. We obviously have some parts here that have to get fixed. We got the old one while we're waiting for it, so at least you can at least get the quarter sure. lined up. Yeah, we can use this to mock up to repair the quarter panel, which is fine. Yeah, this will work to do the repair, so we'll be fine. Cool. All right, cool. Uh, what else you got? So we got that. We got the piece that sits on top of that, which this is just a little, just cracked. Yeah, so this one just get repaired. All right. And that'll be done. And then same thing on our side skirt. We have the molding for. We got a little tag up there. And we this got a crack in here. This goes this in on the body side or no? Yeah. This will sit uh, right in here. Okay. And that's, that's our that's our rocker. All the suspension's all dialed in. Yeah. So far the suspension looks good. See, gutter snake did his thing over here, so we're cool. The wheels we got some custom Cymbalo wheels that are actually coming for this. Okay. So I think those are still a couple weeks out. But those will be coming in. So we got some more parts. And I, mean, I can always take the driver's side wheel and we'll use that to mock everything up. So we'll the frame rail is actually pretty good. So luckily for the most part, it was just kind of sheet metal that got tagged in this. Because yeah. really the damage happened when that wheel got tagged and it just came off and it just pushed it everything back. Pushed okay. everything with it. No bumper? No bumper yet. That's coming from Japan, but at the very least we can we can start with what we have here. Okay. And then uh, when we get all the super Gucci parts from uh, Japan, then we'll uh, continue the rest. All right, cool. Well, I'm pumped to end up seeing this. We're gonna be checking back in on you. Sounds seeing good. Seeing how this is going, but I know it's in good hands. You know we got you every time. Love it. All right. Oh shit, since you guys here, we'll give you a little tour of what we do. SS Motorsports, custom and collision. Collision, as you see with this Porsche. Custom, we do everything from low riders. Gold flake, a little yeah. bit of gold, everything. We didn't do the paint on this one, but it's got some serious paint on this thing. We got the old school caddy over here. Been waiting for this thing. Yeah, this one here, but loves that. Deleted all the chrome, did everything satin black. Got one of the fresh ones on the street. Getting in there on this one. Cut the red wire. Right. We got a lot of red wires. We got a lot of cutting to do. Now we're heading back to the shop. Please do us a favor. Go follow our boy Stevie. What's your Instagram at? SS Motorsports official page. Give us a follow. Give him a follow. We'll see you guys back at the shop. All right. So what you guys are actually looking at is the Olin's coilover over here uh, with the little cup lifting system. And you can actually see the hydraulic lines that run from here to here and it comes down to here 
this is the pump assembly. So when you guys hit the button and you're a Venador on the dash, it actually triggers this pump. This pump runs up and feeds into it. And then you can actually see, lift the car. What's going on, buddy boy? Uh, just showing everybody at home what's up. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. go over there. Dude, it's awesome. I'm, I'm pretty pumped. So yeah, so parts are coming. We still probably got at least a good like two to four weeks before we probably see them in our hand. Yeah. Stevie and his boys got plenty of stuff to get going on. So I'm pretty pumped for that. Well, I ain't, uh, I ain't worried about him at all. Nope, he's solid. I know you're having fun doing this and gotta get back to work, but I got somewhere kind of a, important to, to be, so. Where do you gotta go? I just, I got important stuff to do. This Have is, fun. Okay. Well, you got your stuff, my stuff. Have fun. So, really glad that you know we were able to set this up and you're able to come out tonight. Yeah, you know, I gave Mark just like an excuse. I'm like, I got somewhere important to be, but you know, I really wanted to be here with you right now. You know, after our, you know, you are what's important to me. So, you know, I know this might be coming off a little forward right now, but when you know, like, you know, you know, you get the butterflies, like, it's just. We were meant to be together from day one. You know. I gotta say, like, this evening's really going better than I thought it was going to. But, you know what? Just, we'll figure it out later. This evening, I don't wanna ruin the evening. It's really, like, really good. So, yeah. yeah, like, Totally, I'm totally down to take this to the next level. Like, you and me, like, we'll just. Really like this. What the hell, man? What's going on? Man. And you, don't even get me started hey. with you. Clearly, she's chosen the better man. It's cool. Leave early. This is what I find. Yeah, you're number two now. It's cool. Everybody got jokes. You got jokes. I'd now. be salty if I was you too. You got jokes. But it's now, okay. But you ain't gonna be laughing soon enough because you and me, we don't see eye to eye anymore. Yeah. We have beef now. Just so you know. Yeah. Fire up the grill. Somebody's gonna get burned. You might want some protective equipment. You know, something to shield you. Maybe one of those cute little aprons. A little something cute with a little pink ribbon. Didn't think so. Don't worry about him. He's just jealous. I would be too. in the dressing room, keep it clean, no low blows, nothing to hand ahead.
lower, lower, lower. Okay. Okay, winner! Winner! Yeah.